Hey guys, how's it going? Amar here with ZenMade. Thanks for joining. Uh, it's about 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern. So I really appreciate you guys taking out a little bit of time and joining me personally for this talk and joining the ZenMade team and the entire uh, community for the Made Summit. I'm um, really excited to uh, to have you guys here. Stick around until the end of the talk. Um, like many of the talks that you guys have seen here already this week, we're going to be giving away a couple special things, about $1,200 in bonuses that um, you can grab if you stick around. Um, that is for non-ZenMade customers and then there is a free uh, gift for ZenMade customers as well if you've taken the time to join me this evening and again thank you for doing that. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Amar, I run ZenMade. I previously ran Fast Friendly Spotless in Orange County, California only for just over a year, 14 months before I um, sold the you know my shares to my, uh, to my business partner at the time. And during that time, me and my business partner had actually built out our own management system. Uh, this was back in 2011. Uh, quick thing, if you guys are hearing a bunch of construction in the background, sorry about that. Um, I am running this entire summit from Thailand right now, and sometimes construction like this is outside my control. So, um, so essentially, uh, what happened was was while we were building this maid service, my business partner built out uh, our website and made it so that our website and our calendar on the back end was essentially managed through that website. So we weren't using Google Calendar or pen and paper or another tool like that. We built it all ourselves. And so for me, being very lazy, um, I didn't want to be sending communications, any of that stuff. And so that's really where ZenMade uh, came from. And so after uh, moving Moving on from Fast Friendly Spotless, another friend approached me, um, that would be Arun, ZenMade's co-founder, and he suggested that we partner and create uh, the software that many of you watching are already using and all of that stuff. But my main claim to fame within the industry is just that being more of a sales guy, particularly when I first started the company back in, uh, in 2013, I've personally spoken with probably 4,000 maid service owners at this point. And if you guys are following us on YouTube, if you follow us on Facebook, you've probably seen us recording and sharing a lot more of those calls recently. And so, um, you know, I consider myself to be much more of a uh, of an expert in, in in some ways at least from having spoken with and from understanding the problems that you guys are going through on a daily basis more so than how I personally ran my own maid service back uh, back in the beginning oh before I forget if you are watching this live go to the Zen made mastermind on Facebook just search Zen made or Zen made mastermind on Facebook if you're not already in there and join the conversation conversation. There is a thread in there right now um, just discussing this presentation. So you can meet a bunch of other maid service owners. You can throw out questions of me. I'll be responding in the comments as soon as I can. And um, yeah, so remember to go and to, uh, to check that out. I think you guys will really enjoy that if you're not already in there. If you are already in there, Glad to have you. So uh, the other thing that I was gonna say, sorry, I'm just going off some little notes right here. Uh, the other thing that I was gonna say that I'm probably best known for in the industry would be marketing. And so this summit is an example of that marketing that if you've never heard of ZenMade before, welcome to the presentation, welcome to the party. Now you know what ZenMade is and whenever you need scheduling software, there's a chance that you'll come and you'll check out our software. So this will be a form of marketing. And so initially, this talk um, that you guys signed up for, you probably have seen the title of 25 different um, like items to consider when marketing your maid service. But I got... So in addition to my uh, experience with speaking with that many owners and just having that sort of background while building out the software company, the other thing that I'm probably best known for in the industry would be marketing, right? That this summit that you guys are watching right now is a part of the ZenMade marketing. We brought together a bunch of experts and now a ton of people who may have never heard of ZenMade uh, now know who we are. They've gotten value from us. They're likely to consider us whenever they need a software, right? And that's like the idea. And so, um, 
Essentially what happened was I was initially going to be giving a talk on 25 items to market your maid service and I'm actually not going to be giving that talk today because I got a message on Instagram that you guys will see on the screen here in just a second that um, that just pointed out essentially that the summit is a creative way of marketing. It's not something that a lot of people would have thought of for a company like ZenMade. And so I thought it'd be more interesting to talk to you guys a little bit about where I take my inspiration from when it comes to marketing. And specifically, I wanted to talk to you guys about just some outside the box marketing ideas that I really think that you should consider trying in your maid service. I don't wanna say that these are things that you should absolutely do but I've been coming across more and more interesting ideas and I just wanted to, um, to to throw them out there and to hopefully introduce you guys to maybe a slightly different way of thinking about your marketing and this is exactly what I do for Zenmade when I take inspiration from other companies and so you know one of the Zenmade team members I ran that by them they thought that that'd be a really valuable thing and that it would be probably something more um, more just like you know from from the heart kind of you know for like for this presentation rather than going off a list of 25 things I hope you guys enjoy this I've just made a note of a couple of things that I just really think you guys should consider and so I'm just gonna run through them give you my thoughts and again join the Facebook group drop comments down below on this video I'll be in both places Facebook groups probably better though um, but I'll be around answering questions and I'd be happy to um, to talk about specifics from this talk if you guys have um, specific uh, questions about anything that I'm about to, uh, to go into. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about quickly is this actual summit. So in the MADE summit that you're watching right now, I touched on this just a second ago, but this is a huge awareness thing for Zen Made. So this could be an independent event that could really be being run by anyone in the MADE service industry, right? That any of the consultants, any of the other software companies could be running this, or it could even be an individual organization. For example, ARCSI could be running a summit like this. And a company like ZenMade would normally pay a decent amount of money to sponsor that event. And so what ZenMade decided to do was to just host it so we don't have to sponsor it, we're just the host. And so that's why, you know, down below this video right now, you're gonna see like a pop-up, you know, telling you where to go and get more information for ZenMade, right? And so this is a great way for us to add value to you, to other maid service owners, and to build goodwill and to get people to join our email list, right? That we have 2,200 maid service owners that have registered for this event that will get emails from ZenMade afterwards. And there's a bunch of benefits that come out of that. Um, the more successful that ZenMade makes our clients, the better that ZenMade will do, both in terms of keeping customers around and because of the way that our pricing works. And so so the more that we can put out free content like this for the summit and the more that we can turn it into a big event like this, uh, the more exposure that people get to our brand. But what you'll notice is that none of the talks and none of the stuff is really about the software, right? Like this talk that you're watching right now is going to be the hardest sell that ZenMate is ever going to make to you because we know that whenever you're ready, you'll at least give us a look. And our software is not perfect for everyone, but it is perfect for a very good number of people that are watching. And so when you're ready to make the change from whatever you're using now, you're likely to come and check out ZenMate as opposed to another software company that maybe you've never heard of because they haven't done events like this one. And so the reason that I wanted to bring that up is that people have found that like quite interesting. But to me, the fascinating part out of this and like I... I'm gonna ask you guys a question here and like, you know, maybe drop it into the comments wherever you're, you're, um, you know, you're, you're leaving notes or whatever. But can you think of a way that you could take the Made Summit concept and apply it to your Made Service? Right? Like, is there something that your Made Service could do locally that would have a similar effect to the Made Summit that you're watching right now? So I'm hoping our video editor is gonna put like five seconds of Jeopardy music in or something. And then you guys can just think about this. <laughs> So 
So, okay. The reason that I ask is because I think that this is one of those places where a maid service owner that wanted to get really creative with their marketing could actually take the maid summit and could apply it to their local area. So an example of that would be if you did a summit and so this summit that you're watching right now is being managed by an actual software. So we're paying a third party software to manage the videos, the page that you're watching this on right now, all of that stuff. What if you did a summit that had something to do with your local area what if you asked a bunch of influencers in your area the biggest radio personalities uh, the biggest bloggers in st. Louis or wherever it is that you are what if you asked them to all contribute a talk and you could figure out exactly what that might be of maybe like their top 10 recommendations for you know whatever if it's a food blog then you have them do their top recommendations um, or top restaurant recommendations recommendations in that area, but you could do some sort of event. And so the, the main thing that I want you guys to be thinking about here when I make that suggestion is that too many people with their marketing are focusing specifically on the people that are ready to buy right now. And so if you're looking for cleaning clients and you're trying to focus on everyone in St. Louis that wants a cleaning right now, there are ways to target those people. But what if you took a more similar approach to ZenMade, where instead of trying to find those people immediately, instead you try to be known by everyone in the St. Louis area, and then when those people are ready for a maid service like yours, and that may be never, right? It's very much a numbers game, but when they're ready, they're more likely to contact you than to contact one of your competitors. And so on a similar note to that one, something that I don't see enough people doing is email marketing that's more of like a local newsletter. And so what I mean by that is that if you join the email lists, which is something that I actually do because I have a weird obsession with marketing, is if you join the email lists of other maid service owners, and you're probably guilty of this as well, you'll see that the vast majority of the emails that you receive have to do with the maid service, right? It has to do with a cleaning that they're offering, it has to do with contacting them. It has to do with, um, with what's going on with them. And there's nothing wrong with those emails, right? There's a time and a place for those emails. But if you've been on the ZenMade email list for any time, think about how ZenMade does our email marketing. The vast majority of our emails are content pieces that are designed like this summit to help any maid service owner. And then at the bottom of the emails, maybe we have a, hey, check out this demo that Courtney just like just recorded but it's a very soft sell and we do have a couple of times that we're much more like hey like we think that Zen made the software for you we really want you to get to like to trial it to evaluate it and to decide whether you think that we're right you know and if so we can work together and we do do that a couple of times but it's nowhere near as often as one might think and again what that does is it builds up goodwill so one of the best ideas that I've seen and what's interesting with this one is that any local business business owner could do this is what if you had a local newsletter where everyone um, or where you wrote articles about your favorite places right um, the best experiences that you've had in town you could try some of like the cooler Airbnbs there's like I don't know treehouse Airbnbs and stuff like that and you could write reviews and you could essentially do more of a local blog and again the interesting thing here is I touched on with the summit that with the summit, that's the sort of event that anyone in the industry could have organized. But the person that actually does the organization isn't paying to sponsor it, right? They're the ones getting all of the goodwill and that's essentially what ZenMade did here. And so you could actually go to local influencers, to people that already have their local newsletters and you could pay for sponsorship, right? to you pay $500 to get your logo at the bottom of an email. But what's better than that? What's better than that is actually owning the email list. And so again, those are two ideas. I don't know if those are things that you guys will actually want to do, but the point of the talk right now, it's just something that's been bouncing around my head for some time now, is that there are these outside of the box ways that you can think about 
to actually build a brand. And if you're really good on video, it could be a YouTube channel, right? But the whole thing is that if you can get people in your local area following you for really any reason at all, you have the potential to then market to them whenever they're ready. And if you do the local newsletter idea, you could even get other sponsors so that one of the local plumbers teams up with you, pays you to actually be creating those newsletters, and then you both like win. And so there's a lot of things that you can do there. Another great one um, that, that, you know, it's, it's all like two sides of the same coin because we're really just talking about local marketing and local events. But the other one would be, what about hosting a chili cook-off? What about hosting a picnic in your park where, you know, in like in a local park where you just invite all of like your customers and tell them to invite a couple of friends? And I get the feeling that some of you that are particularly more introverted, maybe like all of these things sound like my absolute like worst nightmare and so that's where you got to um, to play to your strengths right if you're not good on video or maybe you are good on video or introverted and you don't want to host a bunch of people you can always write blog articles you can always go the email route and so it's definitely about finding and like playing to like to, to your strengths but the point is like think how you can sort of expand out and do local marketing one level beyond where you are right now and what I love about thinking this way is that there's a lot of ways that you can do this that are free, but also at the same time are scalable. So some of these might be able to get you very, very quick results and might end up in you only getting a couple of customers, whereas others might actually be really good if you feel like you've maxed out all of your paid channels and you just don't have anything to try yet. So like there's a couple really big name owners uh, that I can think of in the mastermind that are spending you know twenty thirty thousand dollars a month on paid ads for some of them it might make sense to go that local newsletter route because they already have enough traffic coming in that that might actually take off quickly and would get them into the into the minds of a bunch of people that wouldn't be discovering them anyways so I think that's a um, just a really interesting one to uh, to think about. Uh, the other one that I'd wanted to touch on was Instagram. That Instagram is one of, I think, the most underutilized uh, social media platforms that are out there right now for maid services specifically. And the reason is, is because there's just so many, there, there's so much engagement locally on Instagram that whether you search by specific hashtags, whether you search by the actual location, there's so many of your potential customers that are on Instagram right now. And so we've written a guide on this for ZenMade. Um, I think it's the ultimate Instagram guide or the ultimate guide to marketing your maid service on Instagram, something like that. If you Google uh, Zen made Instagram guide. It'll uh, pop up there and I'm sure we'll have a link somewhere in this general uh, vicinity as I'm saying this. That is one of the most underutilized places that both in terms of paying for ads, the ads on there are getting a little bit more expensive now, but the Instagram story ads are not. And that's a very interesting one because a lot of people are actually watching their friends' stories. And if you've used Instagram a lot, when people are doing that, every three to five stories is actually a sponsored post or a sponsored story. And so paying to do that is a really good, good way to do it. The other thing that you can do is actually just commenting or sending messages that that's one that if you're already spending 20 or thirty thousand dollars a month I probably don't recommend jumping on uh, on Instagram like Sarah Mitchell if you're watching this you probably don't want to spend your time on Instagram but particularly if you're a solo cleaner that's just trying to pick up ten more clients Instagram could be a really really good place and so with that you search the different local hashtags you engage with people and you essentially just you know you're a member of it of the community right it's social media it's it says social for a reason. 
And a lot of people are not used to receiving non-spammy messages on Instagram. And so being real with people, dropping them a message, you know, you see someone like a local, um, you know, Instagram celebrity, some food blogger, something like that. If you see them taking great photos at a restaurant, you could drop them a message with, I would, with, I would say one of either two things. So one would be maybe offering them of going like either, Hey, like I love that restaurant and that's do that if you actually know the restaurant, don't use that as a line, but you can even follow your favorite restaurants on Instagram and then you can drop people messages that, um, that also tag them and blah, blah, blah. Or the other thing that you could do, particularly if it's someone that has a following is you could reach out to them and offer them, um, you know, some sort of coupon or discount. I wouldn't say necessarily a free cleaning, but you could offer them some sort of discount. And if you gave that out, let's say 10 or 20 times, if a couple people, people took advantage of that offer, you might get yourself a new client from one of those Instagram um, influencers. But the more powerful thing here is what happens if two or three of them actually post about you on their Instagram profiles. And so this is something I've been watching a lot of Gary V. Any of you guys that watch Gary V. Um, have probably heard some of this stuff before, but doing that sort of one-to-one -one outreach can actually go a long way. And so if you're watching this right now, there's a good chance that even though you signed up for the Maid Summit on Facebook or from the Zen Maid email list or from all sorts of different places, there's also a good chance that you actually got a message from the Zen Maid team about this event on Instagram. And what was cool about that was that our team messaged everyone, every maid service owner, asking if they'd be attending the summit. But then I personally responded to every single person that replied to that message. And so now, like after this summit, not only did we get a ton of signups from doing that and a ton of people that just had no idea that we were even running this event until we had messaged them on Instagram, but we've actually started real conversations with real people who are, of course, our potential customers. And so now after the event, I can go through our Instagram and even just drop the message and check on what they're using for their scheduling currently. Like, are they already using Zenmate? And because we've reached out to them, we've offered all of this amazing value through this summit, they're much more likely to actually respond, even if Zenmate's not for them or they're happy with their current provider. And that just makes for a much nicer business. It means that all all of our marketing just works a lot, a lot like better. And so then of course you can combine all of these ideas. What I just said of, I'm talking about you guys doing like direct messaging on Instagram as like a potential idea. And then we actually took the Maid Summit and mixed those two together. So if you were to do a local event, then, and like, you know, let's say the chili cook-off for whatever reason, when I think local event, I think chili cook-off. Other great examples would be like tailgating at your local like sporting um, events and like, and stuff like that is if you organize, you know, customer meets and like stuff like that, that's where social media would take off. But if you were to organize a chili cook-off or a picnic in the park where everyone has to bring, you know, something in order to come in and join, that's where you can actually jump on Instagram and send directly direct messages to people that aren't about your maid service. And so I think if there's one thing that I'm really trying to, I guess, communicate or get across here, it's that if, especially if you're struggling with your marketing right now, it's think about taking one step away from your product and service and how do you get people's attention right before they actually want to look at your cleaning service because too many people are focused just specifically on, you know, like buy my cleaning service, right? And like chances are you wouldn't know, like, or trust Zenmade right now, even if you're not a Zenmade user, if the only thing that you ever saw from us online was buy Zenmade, right? And so, you know, just thinking a little bit outside the box could really go like a long, long way here for you. So yeah, I'm interested to see um, what you guys watch and what you guys think of that. Again, drop it into the comments down below or on um, on Facebook. Have you guys ever tried something uh, like this? Uh, you know, if so, did it work? What were your like, were your thoughts? Um, Cause yeah, I think that that's, um, that's really what I wanted to sort of go through. 
I'm just going to touch on three other really quick things before I get into uh, today's like offer for you guys that are still um, still watching. And so uh, Courtney Wisely had a, uh, a genius idea um, that she is running advertising at the local DMV that she looked and just got an amazing deal on um, on like her DMV advertising. And she did that just by asking. And so I thought that was a really outside the box sort of thing that she was sitting at the DMV, realized they were selling advertising, and I don't remember if there was no one advertising yet, or if just or or if just no one else was really like good or whatever. And so um, Fran, who's the brand strategist and creative director here at ZenMade, helped Courtney to create a DMV ad, and that's something we're just like there weren't many eyeballs on there, right? And so or not we're sorry, there wasn't much competition for eyeballs there. And so even though that's not scalable, if that works, you can't really spend more money and get seen by more people. It's still just an interesting outside the box idea. Other thing I think that you guys absolutely have to do, this is not an optional one, uh, car wraps that essentially your vehicles when you're driving around town are walking billboards. So like wrap those cars, get stickers on them, get your phone number, your website, any information because they're they're just moving billboards for your company. And then the other big thing is that if Sally down the street from me is working with you, it's better for me to see your car with your branding every week or every two weeks um, because when I, as Sally's neighbor, need someone, I'm gonna naturally think, of your company. And again, that doesn't mean that I'm going to sign up, but it does mean I'm likely to get Sally's opinion on you guys. I may contact you guys among other cleaning businesses. And that's really the point of marketing, right? Is you got to get your name in the hat if you want to be drawn. Uh, the other two things, these are two very, um, similar like ideas is radio and podcasts that a lot of people don't realize but there are local podcasts i've used st louis as an i as as an example throughout this talk but there are definitely uh podcasts that are that are in st louis that feature st louis that are for locals of st louis whether that's just daily thoughts on st louis whatever it may be uh there are definitely local podcasts and radio shows and so that's another Another one that is not as scalable an option, but if you can get on to a couple of those, oftentimes you'll have hundreds, if not thousands, of people that will be listening and will discover who you are. So you could either try to get featured on those by um, by just being a local industry, um, not a local industry, being a local area influencer. And there's a lot of different ways that you could do that. The events that I mentioned before would be like a really great way to um to get started there is so trying to get featured on those would be a great idea the other thing is just find out how much it costs to um to actually sponsor them that if you have a local you know st louis podcast that maybe is only getting let's say 500 or a thousand downloads per episode you may be able to come in and for you know a hundred dollars an episode sponsor that and be getting a ton of people that are being introduced to your brand so again not scalable but it is the sort of thing that it really 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 does add up and you know with something like that this summit is a great example example, right? There's a bunch of consultants and coaches and freelancers that are speaking at this summit and they're getting exposure right now because you've watched their presentation and maybe you didn't know about them previously. So if you think about that, if they were to find 10 more shows or like summits like this one that they could be featured on, not scalable, but by the end of that, they would have a lot of business coming in. And that's something that I think a lot of maid service owners don't realize that they could apply directly to their businesses. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that is today's little uh, little marketing rant. I hope that you guys found uh, some of that valuable, interesting. Uh, I, I feel a little bit odd because I didn't try to come in here to give you guys any like specific takeaways, but I really do hope that this presentation made you think a little bit and maybe gave you some ideas. Again, I would love to talk to you guys more about different ways that you could go about doing this, and I'm actually thinking for quite a few 
few of the ideas that I just named. I'm thinking about implementing them for like for Courtney's maid service or um, you know maybe for, for other maid service owners that are using um, ZenMaid just to see what happens and to sort of do an experiment and to record that. So if you guys are interested in seeing anything like that, drop a comment below. All right. Thank you for sticking with me through this. You guys have obviously seen and heard a lot about ZenMade uh, throughout this week, and you probably will going forward because you're gonna be getting emails from us going forward. So today, right now, um, during this talk live, if you're watching the replay right now, sorry, no longer available. But if you're watching this live right now, I have a special one-time offer. So the first thing to just get it out of the way for the ZenMade customers, uh, the ZenMade customers that are watching this talk right now, if you message me before 7 p.m. Pacific, um, you can get the resource package from Courtney that we just took live a couple of weeks ago. That's worth $27, or we're selling it for $27 currently. Um, we're gonna be upping that to $47 here decently soon, and I actually mean that. I'm not just saying that for internet marketing, uh, but it's worth $27 right now. It's nine, um, nine resources from Courtney. They're all different templates that you can apply directly to your maid service. Um, like, I don't think the cancellation policy is one of them because we give that away for free, but it's like her employee handbook. So you can take a look at that and compare that to your current handbook. Or if you're a ZenMade customer watching this and you don't have an employee handbook, you can take that or any of the other eight resources and implement them pretty much immediately in your maid service. So if you go to zenmade.com slash Courtney's resource, Resources. There's a dash in between those two words. Um, ZenMade customers, you can head over there and you can get that for free. Again, thanks for watching. If you are not a ZenMade customer, I have a couple of different bonuses for you guys. So without further ado, this is what you're getting when you sign up for a trial right now. Um, this is another one that everything I'm saying right now will only be available until 7 p.m. Pacific, unless I have my times mixed up, in which case maybe we'll extend till 7.30. But, um, and then in addition to that, we've got a couple of limited offers that are truly limited. Three people and 10 people will get in on two of these. The first bonus that you will get when you sign up with ZenMade right now is you will get a 21 day trial instead of 14 days. So that's just quite simple, straightforward, but essentially you can trial ZenMade for 21 days to make sure that it's 100% right for you. And you'll find out how just amazing the onboarding process, all of the concierge service that we offer, all of that, you get all of that jazz for 21 days as you are getting started. Number two uh, is that you will get Courtney's resource package that I was just describing for the ZenMade customers, $27 currently, going up to $47 here in the near future. I will say though that signing up for a ZenMade trial even if you're just going to cancel after a week and you know you're gonna cancel after a week, you should still do that just to get Courtney's, um, Courtney's resource package. They are that valuable, even if you already have those resources in your maid service. Okay, and then we have two special bonuses, something that I have never given away before. I feel like such an internet marketer saying that, but I swear to God, I'm being completely honest here. If you sign up right now, the first 10 people are gonna get a one hour strategy call with me in addition to all of the other help that you get while starting up with ZenMade. You'll be talking to all of the ZenMade team members that are also maid service owners about ZenMade. With me, it'll be 100% about your marketing, about your business, or if you want, it can be about ZenMade, but this is not a software call. It's a one hour consulting call that you can just pick my brains or get my input on any processes, systems, anything that's going on in your business. That is the first 10 people to go and to sign up for the link right now when you are watching this live. The last bonus is for the first three people to sign up. So if you're watching this and you've been thinking about it, you better go sign up right now or you're gonna miss out on this one. Uh, and that is four one hour calls that um, are going to be the exact same as the one hour calls I just mentioned before, but you get ongoing help from me. And so each one of these calls is valued at $300. 
that's what it would take for a maid service owner now to get an hour of my time. Um, and so that is what you will get if you are one of the first three people. And with that, that's really cool because that allows us to work over a little bit of time um, so that you have time to actually implement the things that I'm saying, get feedback to do those different rounds. The calls will be recorded. We will be sharing those. So if you guys are sign up right now and you're disappointed because you're not one of the first 10, don't worry. You'll still be able to see those calls. So one more time, really quick, you get a 21 day free trial when you sign up for ZenMade right now. Uh, you get Courtney's resources. It's priced at 27 or 47 dollars. It's valued much, much higher than that. Um, it's an insane um, stack of resources and we tried to make it an absolute no brainer for anyone that doesn't want, you know, to sign up for ZenMade but wants those resources, you know, just pay the $27 or sign up for the trial and cancel the next day. I don't care. Not a big deal. We have 10 one hour calls with me, $300 value each. First 10 people to sign up right now will get that. And the first three people to sign up, um, that's probably already gone by the time that you are watching this, will get four one hour calls with me over a month or two period so that we can get some ongoing um, cycles going in your business. In order to do that, when you sign up for a trial at zenmade.com, go to zenmade.com right now. When you are done with your onboarding, so you're going to actually enter in your name, email, your credit card information. You're going to go through the ZenMate onboarding process. On the last page of onboarding, it's going to ask you how you heard about ZenMade. Put in hashtag made, and that's how we're going to know who the first three and first 10 people um, are that actually signed up after this. So once again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope that you got a lot of value out of this. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these marketing ideas before, if you have other things that you'd like to see me speak about, um, or any of the other speakers here on the summit. Um, so many just amazing, amazing people have come together for the Maid Summit. Um, there's just an unbelievable amount of industry knowledge. So excited that you guys have joined us, and we will see you on the next talk. Um, other thing is if you have a question, uh, you can always email me at amar at zenmade.com. I can't promise a fast response, but I do respond to every email that comes in. So can't promise calls, but I can promise an email response. Love chatting with you guys. Love hearing your questions and helping out wherever I, uh, I can. So yes, thank you again. I'm actually going to go this time. I'm actually going to sign off. I miss you guys already. And I'll see you guys on Facebook now, right after the talk. The video editor doesn't like it when I look at her. Hi, Fran. Yeah, you got to keep that in. OK, now you can turn it off. <laughs>